Hi folks. Um, next lesson on tourism. Okay, we're coming to the end of our industry topic now. Tourism is it can be a standalone topic by itself, but it's also obviously tourism is an industry. Okay, we're in that tertiary sector now. So we've done our primaries, we've done our secondary sectors, now we're looking at tertiary. So tourism is, is the main one here, especially in the Caribbean and again especially in the Bahamas. Alright. It's a very easy topic, very short and really something that if it comes up in your paper i think you could all answer very easy because it's quite common sensey all right and um, there's a lot of content okay we got some stuff in new outer world got a lot of stuff in this powerpoint and worksheets or information sheets that i will go through with you in the videos i don't want you getting worried or overwhelmed about it okay because it's all kind of the same information just again and again all right so sorry some things you do need to know. You're going to need some, to know some key words, which I'll start off with now in a moment. You'll have to know the positives and negatives. So you can head up with this here. You have to know the positives and negatives of tourism and of ecotourism and stuff like that, all right? Something else you'll need to know is a bit about Bahamian tourism, like cruise ships, all right, which we'll go over. And one other thing is the multiplier effect, which we will we'll address in about five minutes, all right? So let's make a start. Uh, there's a handout, which I've attached to your assignment, okay? Um, and it gives a list of keywords. I'll go to that in this video or the next one. Now at the bottom of it, it's missing four. It just gives you day tourist, cruise tourist, domestic and international tourist, okay? I've got the definitions here for you so you can fill those in or you can make a note of them under where you've headed up. All right, day tourist, a person who visits location in the morning, returns again in the evening. A lot of people do this for shopping tourism now or sports tourism where they go to an event for a day and come back. Uh, cruise tourist, I'm on a cruise ship. All right, we'll look at that in a bit more detail. Domestic tourist then, so a person who travels within their own country, can also be called internal and or national tourism. So if you've been to any family islands, you're an internal or domestic tourist. International tourist then, a person who travels to a different country. Now, I want to be very, very clear. Tourism and migration are two very different things. Migration is when you move to a place to live there, okay? Tourism is when you just go to visit. It is not long term. I migrated from Ireland to the Bahamas, okay? At the weekend, I might go to, or you might go to Abago, okay? Just for the weekend, that is tourism, okay? And actually domestic tourism. Right, a couple of things as well, just to start looking at the importance of tourism, okay? So you don't have to make a note of any of this really, um, but just looking at the numbers of people traveling, all right? Europe last year, 672 million people visited Europe. That's, that's more than the whole population of Europe, which is about 560 million. And it brought in $519 billion. Okay, so it's a huge industry. America, a lot less, but still 211 million people visited. Uh, 326 billion in revenue. Okay, so what we will do is make a little heading, Why Tourism Matters. Okay, and there's a couple of these I want to write down. Cultural Preservation. Why people visit countries to explore their culture and by doing this it helps that country preserve or protect its culture all right think of um over on pi where at atlantis they do little mini junk canoes every, like twice a week just to entertain people okay but again it's an exhibit of bahamian culture uh, economic growth we've just seen how much money it brings into different parts of the world and jobs it creates huge amounts of jobs you can link that to this here one in every 10 jobs on the planet is in tourism all right uh, some busy airports atlanta is the busiest in the world turkey have just built the biggest airport in the world all right which i don't really understand why but you can see the numbers of people going through these just these airports not the cities just the airports now we're going to look at something called the multiplier effects you need to do a little heading okay do not write any of this here I have a simpler, simpler uh, version. So what you have is you got travelers, you got tourists come into a place. Okay, notice the way this looks like a dollar sign because it's all about money. Okay, you got them coming into a place. They need transport, they need accommodation, they need services, they need food, restaurants, leisure activities, all these things. So as they come in, these things will get developed. What do tourists do? They pay for everything. So they come on, they go on holidays to spend money. As they do so, okay, the place will become more and more developed again and again more tourists next year more tourists next year spending their money okay helping all these places get developed and built up all right i've made a very simple one starting here going like this 
Okay, so we have tourists arriving in a place. They need accommodation, food, leisure activities, transport. Tourists spend money in the country. Country develops tourist infrastructure, so these things get made. More tourists visit, I should say due, due to improve services. Even more money is spent. Further accommodation services or so on are opened, increasing number. So it's this multiplier effect. You could also add branches here. Once that money comes into a country, the country can then start to develop schools, hospitals, police force, army, all these kind of things. All right. So it's a multiplier effect. Okay. It layers up and up and up. But you need to sketch down this diagram because you need to know what this is. All right. So you can pause the video here and make a quick note of that under where you've headed up. Now, tourism. Okay. We're going to look at a lot of disadvantages and advantages. I'm not going to go through each single one of them. Realistically, by looking at these little bits in bold, you should be able to identify some fairly simple pro problems and advantages. What you can do as well, on page 169 in uh, New Wider World, there's a very detailed box of this. Excuse me. So you can write in New Wider World on page 169, you can write, see um, tours and video and the vid this is the video that includes all of these as well, right? Uh, you're going to need to know five advantages and disadvantages at least. This comes up nearly every year. Advantages. Brings in money, revenue, foreign currency. Okay, brings for Bahamas, for example, it brings in huge amounts of American dollars because so many Americans come here. This is invested or spent in education, health, other services. So the money is used to improve the country. Jobs for local people. Thousands. 8,000 people employed by Atlantis. Construction, it builds new roads, it builds new hotels, restaurants, all this kind of stuff. Okay, uh, again, it boosts local traditions and culture. All right, problems, profits can sometimes go to foreign countries. Okay, Atlantis obviously isn't a Bahamian company, so a lot of that money will be taken out and sent back to the headquarters of Atlantis. House prices, okay, rise when foreign companies and investors buy property. So house prices in the in the Bahamas can be very high, except we put r rules in place to stop that. Foreign companies may bring foreign workers to do skilled jobs, so local people only do low skill jobs. All right. So think about uh, the point downtown. All right. They brought that's a Chinese company. They brought all the workers over from China, so it didn't actually benefit. This, these jobs here weren't actually created. All right. Uh, and obviously, again, the classic pollution and disruption. So with all the people out fishing and diving and planes coming in and roads being built, we're destroying the, the natural habitat. OK, so there are some basic problems and advantages. I'm going to show you lots more, but they're all going to be pretty similar. OK, um, again, a little case study from the Serengeti in Africa. <coughs> OK, negatives, environmental damage, loss of culture in this time, in this example. OK, and they've exchanged that to, to, for employment. Um, in some cases, there's good conservation. I'm going to talk about ecotourism, where actually a lot of the money is used to protect the wildlife. In some other examples, there's environmental damage, so you can argue both sides. Okay, damage to water cycle, building of infrastructure, so they get more airports, transport, uh, ports, all this kind of thing. Okay, and so that's the Serengeti down here. It's in uh, Tanzania and Kenya. All right, and you can see people go for this kind of tourism. You can go balloon rides, see all these different. Uh, wildlife and so on all right elephants and lions and all that okay so some of the positive impacts of this example of tourism all right again conservation tourism brings money in which can set up national parks which we look at and protect wildlife it creates employment for the local people it brings in new roads airports facilities okay and then again our profits have invested in education health and wealth and health care for local communities so again this is just an example of these in real life okay negative impacts environmental damage all these new roads and airports are bad removal of trees and our vegetation so on loss of culture okay the people's farming methods and their traditions have been lost because it's all about tourism now water cycle damage diverting water for tourists uh, means there's not enough water for local people which is already in short supply tourist hotels sometimes dump waste into rivers okay so again it's just some real life example of these advantages disadvantages all right so you can make a little note of some of those but you need to be clear on them we've also then got and uh, let me just check how we're doing for time 
Okay, we'll have to stop soon. Uh, okay, so we've also got some other social and cultural impacts. Okay, again, disadvantages and advantages. All right, so advantages. Social is always people. Culture is to do with people's traditions. So increase the range of social facilities for good. Okay, create or generate greater appreciation for culture and historic sites so they get protected. May promote learning second languages, things like that, all right? International events boost the country's global image and so on. The social and cultural disadvantages, okay? Loss of locally owned land. The locals are usually the first people to lose their land. Then they're displaced, they're kicked out. Traditional communities might be destroyed, okay? Crime and prostitution and stuff like that, okay? So a lot of issues just there. I'm going to just have to stop and we'll move on our second video.